gentlemen. This golden trophy was donated and to be awarded by Mayor Benjamin Avalos, City of Mandaluyo, to the winner of this fight. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting in the blue corner, weighing 110 and a half pounds, he was born and raised in Davao City, PBF's number six, Junior Flyweight, RP's number six, Junior Flyweight. He has a record of 11 wins, five by knockout, and four losses, five draws. From Fred Magaliano Stable, LNM Gym, San Paolo, Manila. Rustico Torrecampo. Torrecampo. His opponent featuring in the red corner, weighing 112 pounds, was born and raised in General Santos. PDF number five junior flyweight RP's number seven junior flyweight he has a record of 11 wins four by knockout undefeated no loss from Paulding Korea stable Malabon Metro Manila Manny Pacquiao Pacquiao judges Vic Rodriguez, Edwin Sese, Alex Villacampa. Referee, international referee, Danny Rodenas. Ten rounds of professional boxing. Unbeaten, Manny Pacquiao going up against the hard-hitting Rustico Torricampo. One thing, Mani Pacquiao came in Kinito, one pound over the stipulated weight limit of 111. As a result of that, he's going to have to wear eight ounce gloves. That's going to be a disadvantage. This young boy didn't want to reduce, decided to, to take the odds. And we've been told that he's, he's fighting with eight ounce gloves. So that's a disadvantage. If you're a quick fighter, got quick hands, heavier weight, harder to hit. That's right. And not only that, uh, it takes a little bit of sting of your punches because Certainly. if you wear heavier gloves, then uh, your punches have less of an impact when they land on your opponent now. Torrecampo is a slugger. Both and camp boys. Yes. Torrecampo, as we mentioned at the top of our coverage, has scored brilliant knockouts here on Blow by Blow, stopping the previously unbeaten Reynanta Rojo and Marvin Corpus. Here we go, Torrecampo into the body. Torrecampo in blue, Pacquiao in white. Pacquiao very definitely uh, height and reach advantage but Torre Campo has come to fight and he's come to slug it out I mean he's not he's not concerned about the reputation of the unbeaten Manny Pacquiao Torre Campo really going after Pacquiao early in this fight walking to the body why did Torre Campo want to deliver a, a statement here to Manny Pacquiao that he is not at all phased by the by the reputation of the unbeaten fighter it's been Torre Campo from the start, smoking. Actually, Pacquiao might have a rude awakening in this fight. <laughs> Torrecampo is a big puncher. And and Pacquiao connects with the left commander. And one thing about Manny Pacquiao, he really has not been tested. tested. He's not been really tested. Yeah, that's right. Uh, he oh, really has left by Torrecampo. The they tie each other up. Torrecampo setting the pace early in this fight. Yes. Now we are scheduled for 10. For the campus being very, very oh, he caught here. Pacquiao with a good left. Of course, you raise the question whether Tore Campo can keep this blistering pace to the end. That is, of course, if uh, Manny Pacquiao, so Pacquiao with a good salt, good bloody punches that time. But as I said, the heavier gloves are not going to help him when it comes to punching. He goes up to Tore Campo, beautiful right up the by Pacquiao. And the crowd's on his feet. He goes up to Tore Campo. They're really slugging it out there. Torrecampo connects with a hard right. Pacquiao with a left from under. This fight won't go 10 rounds. Well, the way it's going, Manny Pacquiao 
Looking also for a quick knockout. Yes. <laughs> I mean, I think he's being he's being angered, and he thinks that you know he's left. Oh, beautiful left by Pacquiao. Punch in the face of Tori Campo. That was a big punch. A punch by Pacquiao. Pacquiao's moving in into the campo. I mean, this is a slugfest. So oh, beautiful looking right hit. and the left by, by Pacquiao. So the campo oh, down. Cracking right by Pacquiao again. What a fight. What yeah. a fight. Well, Pacquiao showing better defense, better footwork than Tore Campo. That goes a bell. Rip Rosing. Rip Roaring Round. The bell for round number two. Manny Pacquiao in the white trunks with the red stars and stripes down the side against hard-hitting Rustico Tore Campo in blue. And the first round has been nothing but action. Ronnie Major Nagula Kiazas into the campo with that late assault of uh, Manny Pacquiao. Yeah. But the campo thought that uh, he had the fight well in control all of a sudden because he Pacquiao started dancing and connecting Muhammad Ali style. They're really snuck it out. I mean, they're really throwing some big bombs, bombs these two fighters. And look at the way Manny Pacquiao is holding on to that right arm of uh, Tore Campo. It looks like uh, this youngster has learned a few tricks. Oh, he missed with the left arm Pacquiao going with the one-two. The one thing about Pacquiao, he's deadly with the combination. And he's quick on his feet. Yes. And what makes him, of course, even more dangerous is the fact that he likes to fight south. Oh! What good combination against by Pacquiao. You know, this is his best fight so far. I mean, he's met a classy opponent. Yes. Well, he's showing tremendous confidence. He's striking with that right jab and then connecting with the left hook. So the campo sort of stuck, stopped in his tracks. Pacquiao with a good combination again. So the campo is staggered. He hurt Tore Campo that time, Kinito. Yes. But Tore Campo is fighting back. It's nailed by Pacquiao. And look at the way Pacquiao moves away from trouble. Good lateral movement on the part of Nani Pacquiao. Has a lot of moves for a young kid. But this Tore Campo is really a gutsy fighter oh, too. Yes. I mean, he's tough as, tough as they come. Hindi din nagpapalamang ito si Rustico Tore Campo. Notice the intelligence of Manny Pacquiao. Oh, good combination against Pacquiao. Oh, not a cracking combination by Pacquiao. Almost out on his feet. Pacquiao going up to Tore Campo. Cracking right. Another right by Tore Campo. By Pacquiao. And Tore Campo is trying to fight back, but he's getting nailed time and time again by Pacquiao. A classy display of great craftsmanship here by Manny Pacquiao. He waits for Tore Campo to miss, and then he moves in with his combinations. What perfect timing. the top of rubbery leg Mahani Pacquiao taking his time and going for the kill but he's teaching Tore Campo a lesson using the right jab very very effectively and putting the combination together nicely oh that left hook connected and the hard left that time the head splashed and Pacquiao walking to the body and cutting him to the head Tore Campo trying to fight back Another good right by Pacquiao. Tore Campo in trouble, but they are exchanging big punches. That goes to bell, end of round number two. We're gonna take a break. What a fight this is. Round ah. number three. Pacquiao in white. Tore Campo in blue. Tore Campo has carried the fight to Pacquiao. Oh! Pacquiao! He's out! He's out! It's over! Oh my god! It's over! Manny Pacquiao cannot get up! It's over! Manny Pacquiao, it's over. Cannot get up on time. It's over. It's over. Manny Pacquiao, one punch, and his eyes are crossed. His eyes are crossed. Tore Campo. The oh, danger. coming out of nowhere, Manny Pacquiao. His eyes are crossed. You know what he a punch. Him, he caught him flash in the mouth. Oh my gosh. Pacquiao was winning the fight handily, and he just took one punch. And his eyes crossed. Rusty for the Tore Campo. We told you this guy's got a punch. Tore Campo, you can never count out a puncher in a boxing bout. Manny Pacquiao falling to his first defeat. My gosh, what an upset. Manny Pacquiao is back on his feet. He didn't know what hit him. His eyes crossed. Just one punch. Let's shut him out. 
Flash on the mouth. We've got to see that over and over again. He looks very disappointed at this stage. But he will learn from this. He will learn from this. I thought he was too cocky, Ronnie. Well, Tarek Kampo is a heavy hitter. No question about it. He's a strongly built fighter. Pacquiao had the disadvantage of fighting with a heavier glove. He punched very well. He hurt Tarek Kampo a couple of times, but he walked into a left. He just walked into the left. Yes. Flush on the face. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. In time, he went know, down. That that and I fact, knew would never get out. That fact that you mentioned, Ronnie, that Manny Pacquiao came into this fight a pound over the limit and did not want to reduce, I think, is an indication that this fellow might be a little bit over his head at this point. He's got to be able to get his feet back on the ground. I think that Manny Pacquiao might have been a little too cocky in this fight, taking Toro Campo for granted, and he paid dearly for it. Yes. But Manny Pacquiao, he's got the skills. He will be back. He will definitely be back. The crowd is stunned. Yes. That was a beautiful punch. I mean, you, it was a classic punch because the left caught him flush on the, flush on the mouth. Well, we go over to our ring announcer. Mayor Ladies and gentlemen, the time, 29 seconds in the third round. Winner by knockout, Rustico Torrecampo. There you have it, Torrecampo. Winning by a spectacular third round oh, knockout. Absolutely. Spiffing, as the British would say. Spiffing. <laughs> We've got to take a look at that uh, knockout once yes. more. I mean, to that better appreciate incredible. what happened. And I got, for a moment, I got scared when I looked at Mani Pacquiao. His eyes were crossed. Yes. He looked, he looked in trouble. I mean, I, for a moment, I, I, I my heart skipped a beat. Yes. So he's back, bouncing up on on his feet, as you see Torrecampo moving out of the ring. But uh, Pacquiao will learn from this. It was a nightmarish ending. Now you see this. Okay. Take a look at this. Slow mo, okay? And you're going to watch the left of, of, of uh, Torre Campo. He's going to catch him. He's going to walk into that left. Just one punch. One punch. Flush on the jaw of Manny Pacquiao. You take a look at him there. No way he was going to beat that. No way. Out. No way. Just one punch. And to think that back in round number two, I thought the Torrecampo was going down. Yes. He may have gone down, Kinito, if this boy didn't have to wear the heavier gloves. Could be, yes. Okay, you're going to see the one more time in slow-mo. Okay, tentative right by Toreka, by Pacquiao. Then you see he drops his right hand. Watch him, he drops his right. Gone. Parai! It was, it was a chin. It was a chin, yeah. And he got his glassy eyed. Yes. Glassy eyed, his eyes got crossed. And you know the point that you made, uh, Ronnie, about the heavier gloves? I think you're so absolutely right. Because uh, as I was mentioning before this fight began, when you're wearing heavier gloves, you lessen the impact of your blows. And despite the heavier gloves, Pacquiao managed to stagger Torrecampo in round number two. And so if he fought with lighter gloves, Torrecampo would have felt the full impact of the blows of Manny Pacquiao. And maybe Torrecampo would have gone out like a light in round number two. But it didn't happen that way. Maybe Pacquiao should uh, maybe discipline himself a little bit more. If the fight is scheduled for or has a limit of 111 pounds, he's got to come in that way.